You guys pals? I guess I'll intro it now. I've been away. It hasn't happened for you, but for me, I've just been living in the forest for seven days. So for you, nothing's changed, but for me, I'm like fresh and inspired. So I went to Tofino, BC for seven days. And I did this last year too, and I filmed the whole thing. So if you do want to see what that's kind of like for me, you can go watch like one of my very first videos. Um, but I didn't film this trip because, uh, one, I've already done that, and two, I wanted to enjoy my trip. So, didn't film a thing. But what I did do is go walk around in the forest, take lots of photos of things that I was like, I want to paint this, stare at some bark, and really think about, like, what I want to create and do with my life, and all those deep thoughts. It's re-inspired me to finish some old paintings. Um, and start some new ones. Anywho, that was a very impromptu intro because I did not pull out the camera to intro this video. I pulled out the camera to show you that I bought new brushes. And, oh, I'm very excited. These are from Goats on the Roof Coombs Market. I'm sure they are made in China. I bought these years and years ago when I was first starting to paint. Uh, just on a whim, like, they're a good set of brushes for, like, 25 bucks. And this is the brand that I got last time, and they lasted so long, and they're really nice. Like, the bristles don't fall out. They're the right thickness and length that I like. Yes, this is $60 worth of paintbrushes. For those of you that are wondering, Isabella, why is your art so expensive? Because this is, like, $40. I also was just in a brush buying mood this month apparently because I also bought some for Michaels. I got these bad boys when they were on sale. I got these big long ones um, mostly because they're big and I've been working really big lately. Every painting that I've done has been gigantic uh, so I wanted something that would cover more area and also they're like really high quality seven dollar paintbrushes that were half off so <laughs> i will take that thank you so clearly i forgot that i bought a lot of art supplies that i haven't shown you michael's once a year they do like 60 70 percent off canvases and your girl goes wild you'll see that in this video that i've been making some of my own canvases but the big ones i just don't have it in me to put that effort in <laughs> And it's a lot, so it's almost cheaper for me to just buy the massive one for like $30 when it's on sale. So that's what I did. I bought the massive one. Can you see me? So that's the biggest size I got. It doesn't even show up. It is 30 by 40 inches. I also got some just like 18 by 24, some 20 by 20s, and I got a fun... 16 by 40 because it was on sale and I never really wanted to paint this shape My mom's been asking me to paint a feather on something this shape ever since I started painting and I just don't want to um, but <laughs> I Kind of feel like I want to now so might do that for her So that's my haul. I spent a lot of money on art, but I really like art. I am a biddy who will buy a big ass canvas um, because that's where my happy place is so anyways this long tangent that started with me just buying like one brush I'm gonna start painting the whole reason I opened the camera was to tell you about the brush was to tell you about the brushes and I was gonna start painting welcome to the video just hands
I've decided to take the canvas off some of my lower quality old canvases that I didn't use that are maybe from like the dollar store. Um, and they have this like low grade canvas on them. And I have a roll of really nice canvas. So I'm going to reuse these. I took off a circle one. So that's what I'm doing right now. The canvases turned out lovely. A little ugly on the back, but beautiful. So I'm going to go get gesso for those today. I just did three, but my studio is a hot mess. So I'll have to clean that up today. The chickens killed my avocado plant. So, sad. <laughs> so, I went out and I purchased gesso so that I could finish my canvases that I did yesterday. I think I showed them. Um, and then I also bought this big circle canvas. I'm excited about it. It's 60 centimeters. Um, but as you can see, they're using it as <laughs> sort of a cushion right now. So I'll have to take that away from them. They love this couch. Like, this is where they nap time. And then I'm going to gesso over these. So I'm kind of going to multitask and do these. And then as they dry, clean up their mess. <laughs> and then do a couple layers until they look pretty smooth. So, let's see how this goes. And I'm also going to do this one because I want to start painting on this right away. I'm excited. You guys excited? They're always excited. decided so my paints have been molding um, just because I'm in like a sunnier spot than I usually am with them and paints kind of need to be in like a cool place um, so right now I've been putting them away every single day in the shade like in a in a cupboard so they don't hit the Sun um, but they're still kind of hot and my dad went on a thrifting trip and bought like one of those super tiny mini fridges that people put like their makeup in um and he was just gonna put like a couple cans of coke in there um and then i was telling them how my paints are molding and he was like well take the fridge so i have a little paint storage fridge it's super ridiculous and unnecessary but it's kind of fun so i'm gonna try it i guess 11 degrees set sure Sure. I don't know how cold the fridge is. This is definitely loud and unnecessary. But kind of fun. I'm just going to leave it like this for a while and see how cold it gets. Check in later for the fridge update.
everyone comes to help me. But isn't this cute? The purple and the clover? I'm gonna get another one once I cut it down. So the whole reason I painted the cat, my cat, is because I bought this print from Autumnal Wood. I think that's how Autumnal Wood would. I'll put it up. I bought this print and it's stunning. I bought this frame for the print in a pack of three. So I don't have any other 8x8 prints and I'll probably buy some more. But I don't have any other 8x8 prints and until I buy some more, I was wanting to put some of my art in one of the frames so I painted that kitty boy. So I'm gonna go chop him down with my guillotine. I love my guillotine. So I'm gonna go chop him down and get some photos of him finalized because I am a content creator and that is my job. Not really. You don't get paid to do this. The goal is that one day I get paid. Meow. Look who's here to supervise. The supervisor is here. without a glare. Aren't they precious? Maybe I'll put them on this wall here. My yellow wall with all my purple paintings. How exciting. Today I had a life crisis and then I painted a quick little manatee study for Not Sorry Arts July painting challenge because she does one every year I did it last year and that's sort of what got me into painting more consistently and I probably won't do the whole thing this year but I did a manatee he's kind of ugly but I only spent 30 minutes on him um things I want to do now whiten my teeth keep painting yay I'm gonna go unplug my mini fridge see ya it's mini fridge update time here with me on the shaky cam on the ground. Um, I moved the mini fridge because it was annoying in my space. So now we're on the ground with the cat food and the mini fridge. And I did put some paint in here. All right, this is an experiment for y'all. Because I soon after storing all my paint in there realized this is very impractical. And I won't be using it, but the experiment was worth the content. So we put some paint in there. Grand reveal. Oh my God. I will say it is cold. It is brisk. I don't think it molded for me. I'm getting some really revealing angles in my house. It's good for you, I guess. It smells like paint. Looks like paint. Would you believe it? The paint hasn't molded. I even did a tube. And uh, honestly, it's starting to make noise because I opened it. But honestly, if you just put your stuff in there while it was kind of cold and then unplugged it, I'm sure it would stay cold like a cooler. So that's an option. I personally will just be putting my uh, stuff away like I normally do. And that's that. Um, I'm not going to use the mini fridge because it's tiny and impractical. So, yeah, but now you know that you can put paint in a mini fridge. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>